What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield and this is the Crown Tundra DLC and we're trying to see why Peony is out here just knocked out on the ground. Ah, it hurts, it's ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? What, what happened bro? What happened? <laughs> this fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. <laughs> okay, hmm. Adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first head now. Not first hand, first head. First hand, I mean. <laughs> I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? Funny enough, we saw her in there, bro. There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling right as rain. Okay. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. <laughs> hmm, you don't say. So dear Nia set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventor. You know, I burnt the candle at both ends, working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into that, into doing what I want to do, probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. You right, bro, you right. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, my name's Peony. Wait, have I already told you so? <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Twice as nice, okay. I, I could get down with that. Oh, we got his league card, too. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be interested in joining the fun. Err, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Don't fret now, I've done all sorts of preparations already. We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. That's a very original name, Freezington. Time for a strategic plan and meeting for Peony's Adventor. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I'll say, let us reconvene post haste. Ha, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? <laughs> okay, bro. Relax. It was actually pretty neat that we caught a sweet cone in there. Um, now this makes me want to like look at everybody else's videos and see if they just made everybody encounter a sweet cone. Okay, bro, like, why are you running? Be be safe. It's it's snow. Snow and ice. <laughs> I say that, like, our character doesn't happily ride a bike through all that. <laughs> is that how close the town really is? If so, then... That's not really inconvenient. Oh, I see two Pokeballs already to pick up, too. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, like already, I feel like the Crown Tundra map is way bigger than the uh, Armor of Isle map. Hello, hello, what do we have here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Yes. Ah, uh, never mind, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Frisington specialty as a memento. We got a boat neck sweatshirt. Okay. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on the extremely ancient accounts of the king's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the way, oh, by the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now then. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Now we get our Pokemon to follow us. Oi! Oi, oi! If you guys see me like shrugging like my shoulders and all that stuff, it's just because I'm sore from the gym. Over here! Alright, Peony. And then you got a, a P for your flag, bro? Okay. Yep, yeah, and now we got our Pokemon following us. Let me, uh... A utility umbrella. An item held by a Pokemon. This sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and harsh sunlight. Huh. So I wonder if that changes up, like, uh, being able to take more damage from rain? Or having, like, their moves weakened because it's raining or weakened because it's, uh, sunny? Oh, wow, we got a TR. We didn't have Amnesia as a TR already? Oh, no, we've had it before. Blunder policy. Raise the speed sharp when a Pokemon misses with the move because of accuracy. That's... I guess that could be useful. I don't know when it would be useful, but it might come in handy sometime down the down the line. I don't know. I'd have to look into it competitive wise. All right, now we're going into Peony's house or whatever this is, because he doesn't live here, I believe. Aha! Here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodging. Okay. What is that on the table, though? But as of this moment, there's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffin. Faffin. Enough faffin. Never heard that before. Enough faffin about. Let me tell you what that peony exploration team is after. Around here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great Hulk and Dot-faced giants are sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it, we are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. All right, all right, all right, all right. Of course, if I had my weight, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. Okay, bro, chill out. But who knows, they even say chance, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. <laughs> okay, that was lame. <laughs> that was like a really lame Pokemon pun. So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us just went blah 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 damn I accidentally clicked? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. Guess, nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down for the fort chief. <laughs> Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Okay, we finally got our uniform. So we got an extra uniform. We're going to put it on. What is it? Orange or green? I can't remember. Okay, we're orange as well. Can we change up the color? I'd rather change up the color to blue. Aha, look at that. Fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. But we wear the same size. And if you ever need or have a kit, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. What, is that like a... Pokemon Center or... Oh. I got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Okay, because I was about to be like, do we heal up or do we change our clothes? Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. A clue about the king of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony and an old photo is attached. There's a fairy tale in Freezer 10 about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Okay, clue number two. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the mon change. The door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the... Okay, so these are like the Reggie. The Reggie legendaries.
Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So we got clues. And then these ones supposed to be for like the legendary birds? Yep, the legend of bird Pokemon. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is where that the legendary wings come to roost. The other day clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telly watching. He's like, from watching TV, bro, I did my research, and here we go. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like this king's bond with his loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this extradition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. Okay. There's, there's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village. Though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Maybe it only like happens uh, around. Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? Nah, we'll... We'll... Damn it. Aha, I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Oh, wow, we get a Master Ball. This is supposed to be that... Be one Ultra Mega Corker of the ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get in a bit, turn around. Just come back onto the base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just looking for the adventure crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyways, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Alrighty, but he said there was, like, stuff we could change into over here. Wait, I thought... Oh, okay. I was like, I thought we'd be able to. Oh, you, so you can restore your Pokemon's, like, health and all this stuff here. Change my armband. So... We're gonna go with... The... Different color. Is there a dragon type? Oh, dragon or dark. Uh, let's go with dark. That should be black. Oh, it's... It's not black. Okay, never mind. And then change my outfit. Does it just, like, let me... Yeah, go back in here. I wish you could change up the color. That'd be dope. But okay, we're gonna change this armband. Uh, guess I'll change it to water. Just to... Just to have something blue. It better be blue, because I don't... I don't know why we got dark and then we got, like, a, a light purple color. Yeah, there we go. I really do need to change up my guy's hairstyle, too. I don't know why I'm just, like, keeping it like that. <laughs> I guess it's to look hella fancy. Hella fancy and feeling absolutely splendid. Okay. Okay. Giving us a little, a little scenery out here. Alright, now it's like... Oh, okay. I can't do anything. I was like, where am I gonna run to? Oh, there's footsteps there? Okay, I guess we'll look at this. Yes, there they are. Oh, Sonya, what? These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was, on, was spot on. Hmm, wait. What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, what are you doing here? I keep asking myself the same exact question. If I had known it was going to be this cold I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people. You see, Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just the place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory's not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? Oh, okay, I was like, do we actually have to like click, click on them? You found evidence of the Iron Wheel Pokemon. There's 2% of the data needed to track it. Okay, so we have to look for these like footprints to 
get more gain more percentages of it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we could find more evidence to collect 100% of data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold and putting me into hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. <laughs> so that I can grip a pen and write, of course. I don't know if this was supposed to be a hidden a hidden perverted joke or not, but that's kind of how it came off right there where she's talking about, so uh, I can grip a pen and write, of course, <laughs> since I'll be working so hard on my research. <laughs> I don't know. I see what you did there, Game Freak and Pokemon. You're not slick. You're not slick. But all right, so now we can, I guess, have a little run around I feel like, I feel like we should be able to move faster, but maybe it's just because I've been, I haven't played this game in like a while, so I'm not sure, uh, what the run speed used to be back in the day. Uh, let's get this Pokeball. Oh, we got a Focus Sash, nice. Um, so I'm not really sure where to go next. It's just like, oh, I have to go to that statue. Yeah, it wants me to go to that statue to basically start the next progress of the quest. So I guess we'll do that. Oh, snap! Wait, wait, wait! I need a ran. One of like my favorites from Gen 1. Uh, but I'll catch you a uh, later. I might actually put new Pokemon on the team. Oops. It's a statue of Pokemon, but somehow it feels like as if it's missing something. Oh, it's the thing on the guy's table! Is this not the statue we're supposed to interact with? Let me go and see if we can like interact with what's on the table. Uh, da -da. I was wondering why we had this thing on the table. Hey, Chief, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Oi, listen here, Chief, I got some wisdom to impart. If you could put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Okay, bro, I don't, I don't think that's how pillows wor really work, though. Like, unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it. You want me to hand over my ultra-mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? Gah, Ultra Mega, seriously, this is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? All right, all right, go on then, have it. But you better make sure you track that legend down. Sir, yes, sir. A wooden crown. So now we can go put that on the uh, statue. A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. You are correct. So then I can place it here and see what happens. Looks like the wooden crown would fit onto the statue here. Do you want to try fitting it on? Russell, Russell, schwunk. Okay, fit perfectly. Pro oh, wait, what? Did the statue just make that noise? Oh, snap. That's kind of creepy. And then you're just gonna awkwardly, awkwardly just fly off. Alrighty, well. I guess it wants us to interact with it. <laughs> I still don't like how its legs are designed. Like, what? What is this? Croc, croc. It seems this material wants, wants to test your strength. 
Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Crown, crown. Does that mean we can't catch it? Because it's like question marks as his name? Because that'd be like end of the legend. <laughs> end of the story for that part. Crow round. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. No, it looks like we can... We can still, uh... Catch it. So, just to make things faster, we'll... You can't throw... Wow. Okay. Blaze kick then. Can I still like not catch it? It okay, just in general it won't let its guard down. Okay, well we'll just hit you hit you again, bro. We just we just beat up the legendary <laughs> that wanted to test our strength. Pro crown prone. Round round crown. <laughs> Did you have fun? Round round crown round. Ra ra round ca ca round. <laughs> ra crown pro crown 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 ra crown. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What massive noggin? Hmm, rum, crown, crown. <laughs> oh, you just gonna dip like that? Oh, okay. What's this? <laughs> Is he like putting him in his place or something? Ah, yes, a steady body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Whoa, wait, what? He's, he's talking through him. Oh, I see you have grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I'm, I'm a smart guy. I'm staying pretty sharp out here. I am Calrex, or Calyrex. I am one of the known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. Those humans offered me their loyalty and respect as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvest, year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost. But even the tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. I don't know why I reset that sentence. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. Oh, so that's a Pokemon too? However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. The actors returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. Make people believe in me. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg you to help me. Well, you do look kind of creepy, bro. I'd kind of be like, can, can you stay away? You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 1, so we can write down clues or add to the clues. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this episode off here. Next episode, we're going to talk to people around the town and see if they believe in Calyrex or have forgotten him or not. And we'll see how it goes with that. Hopefully, we get Peony back. I don't know how soon, but I like how they have him floating in this position right there. Look, he looks peaceful as hell. But all right, guys, make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps with the channel a lot. Let's me know you're enjoying the content you see right here. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.